with the setup that we currently have here, let's just do something more with our light sensor here. And what we'll do Using our current setup, we're going to go ahead and make use of the photo cell for determining the rate at which an LED flashes. So as the level of light changes here, we'll see a noticeable change over here on the rate that this is turning on and off. Okay, So the bricks that we'll use to do that will be D5 brick to turn this one on and off. So that'll be a digital one. And we're going to be using this, which is analog, and that'll be on port A0. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those bricks in right now, my digital and my analog. Okay, so it says here analog read A0. So that's already set to the right port. And I have D5 for the blue LED. It will need to be both on sometimes, but it'll also need to be off sometimes. So I'll set that one to low and I'll use these in a little bit. And so we said we wanted to make this flash on and off at a rate that is equal to whatever value is on A0. Now, if you remember when we were playing with this the first time, we could see that the number would change between zero and up to 1024. That would be the maximum that number could possibly be. We could actually then use that number and substitute that for the time delay. So for example, if the number were 500, we could use that as the delay time, which would be 500 milliseconds. So that would work out great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so go ahead and we'll turn on an LED here. And then we will delay, but we're pulling out that time that it defaults to, and we're gonna substitute the analog read. So what happens right here is it looks at port A0 and whatever that light value converted to number wise, it's going to use for that delay time. So in our example, we said like 500. So it would wait there. Then it would go ahead and turn off the LED and we could have it off also for the same amount of time uh, that corresponds to the amount of light hitting the surface of the LED. And then it could just repeat. So this would be that uh, function in its simplest form. If we go and copy that, we'll then and upload and see what happens. All right, so it is blinking. I'm going to start to shade it a little bit. And we can see that we do have noticeable change in the brightness of the LED. Keeping the same program that we have here right now, uh, what I'd like to do is make it so that we could speed that LED speed up a little bit more. So more or less convert that delay time to a smaller number. Right now it's between zero and 1024. Uh, it'd be nice if we could scale it to a different number. And there's some ways of doing that. Uh, we could use math, right? So if we pull in that brick right there that we found right under math, what we can do is we can manipulate that number. All right, so what we'll do is we'll read the value like we did before, which will be a number between zero and 1024. But this time, we'll divide it by 4. Okay, so instead of now, after we divide it by 4, let's just say that the number was 1,000. Well, no longer. Instead, it's uh, 250, right? Because divided by 4. 1,000 divided by 4 is uh, 250. So that will be the delay time now, the maximum. So it'll vary anywhere between 0 and 250 because I am dividing it by four. Let me duplicate that real quick. And we'll get rid of this one. 
And that looks correct. We'll go ahead and copy the Arduino code. Load. And okay, so we can see it is noticeably faster already. And if I start to shade this thing, it's slowing down. Okay, so then if I make it brighter in the room, it should blink faster. You can still see it's blinking really fast now. That number is getting pretty low. So the darker it gets, the slower it gets by a factor of four is manipulating that number. So you could change things that way as well.